Hello there, and me, Robert Gregson, um, on the Yamaha Trabiona. Now, what I'm going to explain to you today is all about a beat called the, the B-pop beat, and that is one of the probably hardest beats you can ever learn to do. Now, if you think of a normal swing beat, and most normal beats, take a swing beat, you just go, and it just keeps going on, boom, 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 yeah. and you can keep in time. Yeah. And I sort of, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, go along, or any sort of rock beats and cha-cha beats, they've all got this steady pattern, 4-4. Four, four. Now, this is 4-4, four, four, but as you can hear in a minute, the beat suddenly changes, and it's the old big band sound, where they'll be playing along, and then they'll stop playing, and the drummer will do all his big thing, and then they'll all come back in and play. Or they'll be playing along, you know, and it stops and starts. And, but when you are a keyboard player, you can play along with that, but the timing is obviously not in the straightforward one, two, three, four. Now, if I play the beat, you'll see what I mean. Now, you've got the storm of beat, which you can keep to, keep in time to quite easily if you're playing something like a ballad, or like a swing song or something. But then you get that. Now, how would you keep in time with a beat like this? I will show you, we'll keep it going. Now, we're going to go back to the rhythm. Now, yes, you can stop and then wait, but you have to let count and it takes harder. And it's much more impressive if you can play in time to it. And now it's changed yet again to a different sort of drum roll, so it's not the same drum roll as the last time. And if you play it through again, you'll get another one. So you've got a steady beat, and then all of a sudden it will go into this the drum roll, now it goes crazy now, here we go. Different again, so you've got yet a different sort of drum roll. So it's not following the regular pattern of regular beats you'd hear on a keyboard. So this takes some doing. You're playing along and then all of a sudden that comes in. Yes, you can stop and wait till it's finished and then carry on, which is good. Mm. But it's nice if you can play along to it. Now how do you do it? And this is something that can really puzzle people. And you could do this when it's really fast speeded up. And I've slowed it down to 100 to show you. And basically what you do is you try to ignore what it's actually doing with the drum roll. And all you do is just keep playing at the same pace you would normally play the tune at once you've learned your timing. And now I'm going to play it. And if you keep playing... Eventually, it'll just stop when you get to the bit where you want to carry on to the next part of the tune. And you'll see it gives a good effect. So here we go. And it's one of the hardest ones you could ever learn. So here we go. listening to it but try not to let that put you off just keep playing steady and you'll find yourself 
as you come to the beginning of the bar, it'll be ready to start the next lot off. Now this is the thing you really should learn because it's one of the hardest ones to do. And I've even managed to speed this up to its full beat, 200 and odd, on the tempo. And you can really get some impressive sounds. And all you're doing is just keep going. Don't stop. And you'll have a much bigger and impressive sound and really impress your friends. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it helps some people. You take care and we'll see you later. Bye.